Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the X-Wing fighter from Star Wars. This was one of the very first vehicles ever released. And it comes in white plastic, which means discoloration problems. And you can see this one is pretty dirty. Could do with a good restoration job done on it. The stickers aren't bad though. And you can see we've got this little cockpit that opens. And these are a real pain to get without the uh, yellowing problem on them. They do come off, so you need to make sure it's got that bit if you're going to buy one. And you can see these little guns on the side. You get four of these, and these just unclip, which is handy, because if you've uh, got broken ones, you can replace them. This one's got a little bit of stress there. That's something you need to look out for. These were actually the same guns that were on the Palatoid Death Star set. Only you get four this time. And they just pop onto the wings in those little holes. Now, there are quite a few versions of this out there. This one is potentially the one from Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back one and the uh, Return of the Jedi one had the battle damage stickers. And with it being stickers, you're never quite sure if they just weren't applied or it was the original that didn't come with them. Um, the very last versions on the um, Jedi boxes, they were uh, made of a grey plastic, which is uh, a little bit different to this. And also, in the US, this bit had uh, a light on it, and there was a button on the back, somewhere around here, I believe. And you could push that button, and you got the little light up bit. Now it does come with an R2-D2 and he's actually fixed in, he's just a head, it's actually a button and these, with it being a button you're going to get a lot of uh, wear on the chrome, wear on the paint this one's not too bad for chrome but some of the blue's worn off now how this works, you've got the uh, the wings in flight mode there and to move to attack mode you would push down R2-D2's head now this one is very temperamental and you can see it just wants to flop back down. Now this button, if you push it forward and fight with it a little bit, eventually, there we go, it will hold in position. And to move the wings back down, you just flick the little button back and we're back to that mode again. On the front, we've got this little landing gear, which is quite good, and that'll just pop away. Or you can retract it. It doesn't have a lever or anything like the Snow Speeder did. It just moves up and down. And so this vehicle does hold a figure in the little cockpit. And who better to put in than Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing pilot gear. And if we just lift the lid and fold him in. You do have to be very careful on the hands on this figure. You've got to squeeze his arms in to get him in place. But once he's in he sits pretty nicely. And then you can lower the cockpit. And you can just about see him through the yellow plastic there. So yeah, it's quite a nice little vehicle. It is uh, not quite in scale with the movie. The, um, the nose section should come out about here somewhere. But uh, you tend to find that on a lot of the toys, they're a little stubbier and the cockpit sections are oversized to fit the figures in. Now this vehicle did come out again in Power of the Force 2. And it was done in a slightly different colour with updated paint wear and had some new electronics in it. But it's virtually the same toy. So what's that, 978 all the way through to 1995. We're still using the same mould, just about. So it's a, it's a very nice little vehicle, this one. Certainly one to uh, pick up in multiples, so you can have your uh, Rogue Squadron or what have you. So this has been Luke with the X-Wing Fighter from Star Wars 1978. Hope you've enjoyed seeing it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.